Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Saturday, August 31st, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. You'll be able to use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Free $60 account. Get started and get set up by clicking on the link below this video. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. You can use that 60 bucks on any of us over at DocSports. Wow, what a night. Friday night watching the games. Just got done watching Nevada pull the comeback win over Purdue outright. Uh, this is a team that scored, what, 17 points in the final 656 of the fourth quarter, gave up some 520 yards and still found a way to shock Purdue outright. We talked about this game a little bit on v on Friday afternoon. I'm on that show every Friday uh, with Patrick Maher, and we talked about that line inching up, and I said, you know, I kind of think it got up a little bit too high, uh, but again, it was a situation where I thought, you know, I'm going to hold back not pull the trigger on Nevada in all likelihood. Take some notes. See how this team plays tonight. Uh, and boy, did they come out and play well in the final half of the fourth quarter. Uh, Purdue looked like they were going to pull away and get a big win up 31-14 at one point of the fourth quarter. More than midway through uh, those final 15 minutes and still took the loss. So right away, of course, I jump on and I see who these teams are playing next week. And the first thing I see is Nevada is taking on the Oregon Ducks. Now, that'll be an interesting proposition, depending on what Oregon Oregon does on Saturday against Auburn. Nevada, the Wolfpack, were celebrated on the, on the field like they had just won a college football championship, and you can't blame them for the way that game was going for most of the first three and a half quarters. As far as Purdue, they like, take it on Vandy next week, so uh, boy, maybe they get back on track, but a devastating loss to the Boilermakers uh, who, again, they were up big, looked like they had the game in hand, but how about the Mountain West? You had Hawaii knocking off Arizona as a double-digit underdog. They beat them outright, and of course, tonight, Nevada uh, getting the win over Purdue. As I speak, it's fourth quarter. Colorado up by 14, but Colorado State's offense has looked better than advertised. I'll tell you what, being here in Las Vegas, and I don't mean to ramble on and on, but being here in Las Vegas and knowing what Tony Sanchez has to do uh, with UNLV this year, it's not going to be as easy as maybe some people thought getting a couple of wins in that particular conference, and he's going to have to have a good season, I think, to still be the head coach uh, when UNLV begins playing at the new Raiders Stadium on the strip just next year. So uh, got their work cut out for them, the school over on Maryland Parkway in Tropicana here in Las Vegas. All right, listen, I don't mean to bore you with Mountain West talk. I'm just telling you what I see thus far. Hawaii looks legit on offense. Nevada's legit on offense. Colorado State, they're not giving up. Uh, a few turnovers there hurt them against Colorado. But for us, it was a two-and-one day on Friday with premium plays, and I'm not happy, obviously, with Wake Forest uh, not getting the money. Uh, they were a three and a half point favorite when they opened. They were a three and a half point favorite yesterday afternoon. And then of course, or not yesterday afternoon, but Thursday afternoon. And then throughout the rest of the afternoon and into the evening, got as high as five and a half, kept bouncing back and forth between four and a half and five and a half for the most part up until kickoff. They did what we thought they would offensively. 38 points, put yardage on the board, the whole ball of wax, but they gave up about 10 more points than we thought they would. And that's something that Wake Forest is going to have to be concerned with because this Utah State team, although they had a very good quarterback in love coming back from last year. Remember, they had just, what, two receivers uh, with more than 10 catches on this team and they had a basically a brand new offensive line and still were able to put 35 on the board and drive the ball against Wake Forest. So a little note on that game also. We end up 2-1 and one, but I lost Wake Forest. Uh, I do have three college football games remaining to be played this weekend. Three sides. They all go on Saturday. They're all over at DocSports.com right now as we speak. We look to cash all three and have an overall winning week if we can do so. But again, 2-1 and one last Last night, unfortunately, Wake Forest didn't get there for us. As far as baseball, winner there, WNBA winner there, a WNBA back-to-back uh, -back wins after suffering two straight defeats last weekend. And now with the back-to-back -back wins, we are now 36-18-2, 67% with our last 56 plays. I've got baseball on Saturday. It'll be up and available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. I've got the WNBA on Saturday. That'll be up at 1 p.m. Eastern. College football is up right now as we speak. I've got CFL passed last week back in action, CFL game 
for us goes on Monday, but you can grab it right now. Real quick note about what's going on Saturday night. I will have my NASCAR posted uh, for Sunday, but it's going to be a different time that I'm going to probably have that posted. It's probably going to be closer to 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific when I get the NASCAR posted for Sunday's race. Heck of a run. 13 and 3 our last 16 going back to early May and up nearly $5,000 for $100 per unit better. So a lot to talk about as I just did, and I know what you're waiting for. You want to get to that free pick, and we will. Here's real quick uh, action going on as far as betting is concerned. Uh, you've got Michigan right now getting a ton of the money, over 90% of the money on the books that are reporting to me, uh, laying 34 and a half to Middle Tennessee State. Of course, they open up a couple of points lower than that, so a lot of that money has moved that line to where it is now, 34 and a half. Virginia Tech taking on BC. Virginia Tech, the public team in this particular betting situation, while BC has been lately, as we speak, a little bit sharper side. Now, that line has also crept up a little bit. And uh, again, Virginia Tech seems to be a little bit more of the public side on the books I talk to. BC a little bit more of the sharper side with the books that I talk to. As far as Oregon and Auburn, the side is concerned, did talk to one sportsbook director on Friday afternoon who said he was waiting for money to come in on Oregon and uh, was kind of surprised that he didn't get as much action on the Ducks as he thought they would. He thought the value lied with the Oregon Ducks. So a couple of quick notes on what's going on with the betting action. As far as our free pick, uh, we're going to grab the points about 17 and a half with East Carolina over NC State. Uh, East Carolina so far, real sharp side. That number has come down, so we get it. Uh, and But anyway, in this particular game, they're going up against an NC State team that brings back you know one of the fewest uh, numbers of returning starters from last year. Just 11, just four on offense. I like the new coach for East Carolina. I like what he's implementing with the Pirates, and I think they hang this number against a pretty young NC State football team. So we'll make it quick because we talked a lot in the beginning of this video, uh, but we're going to back East Carolina. That's the sharp side thus far, and again, it has come down a little bit, but we think they still hang this particular number. East Carolina plus the points over NC State. It's going to do it for us for Saturday. Uh, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites with DocSports.com. We're right back here Sunday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Let's put Saturday in the win column. Best of luck.